Hi, welcome to How to Repair. Today we're looking at a Samson washing machine. This is an 8 kilo Eco Bubble, and the model number on this machine is a WW80J55. Uh, 5FX-EU. Now the problem with this machine we have an intermittent fault. Sometimes when you turn it onto a spin cycle or a wash cycle it is jamming on the program with one minute left or four minutes left, eight minutes left or so on. The machine is not completing the cycle and it keeps stopping. And what we'll do is just turn it onto a program so I can show you the faults that appear and I'll jump to the point where the actual program is. So we'll turn the machine on. We'll turn it to a quick daily wash and we'll press start. Now the machine will go through its normal procedure. It will fill with water. It will empty water. Uh, the machine will go through the cycle and it will normally go down to two three minutes of running time before it starts jamming. Sometimes it will go all the way through the cycle possibly to the last 10 minutes of the cycle or 14 minutes of the cycle but most commonly if I set it to a spin cycle it's jamming on one minute and staying there for 20-30 minutes uh, and I have to turn the machine off to actually get access to the machine. This is an intermittent fault and it's really frustrating. I will show you the best way of diagnosing the fault. We're also, because I know what the problem is with this machine now, we are going to change the main motherboard on this machine. And I will show you somewhere in, later in the video on how to go about finding a cheap replacement circuit board for this machine as well. Uh, you know, if you have to buy these from the manufacturer, sometimes these circuit boards cost nearly as much as the washing machine. It's a bit of a joke, really, when you actually consider we're meant to be getting into a more environmental friendly uh, environment and being able to repair appliances. You know, manufacturers now are being held accountable by governments with the Right to Repair Act. And this is really important to be able to buy a machine and be able to maintain it in the future affordably. And sometimes things like the motherboard are just too expensive to repair. So I'll show you a couple of techniques on the best way of finding a circuit board for this as well when we come to that point in the video. And here you can see that the program has stopped and the door is not opening but it's not advancing and it's been sat here for five minutes. If I press pause and start the machine again it will advance a little bit but it keeps stopping in the program all the way through. Right the machine just beeped and it stopped again but the door lock light has gone out and as you can see you can open the door but if I press start again the machine will go into uh, a continued wash but this happens again and again and again okay I've turned the machine off now I'm going to do one final test I'm going to actually turn the machine on and I'm going to turn this just to a spin cycle and we'll see if this jams on the spin cycle as well Right, the machine has finished its spin cycle and it's been sat here for about 10 minutes uh, since I've last heard it running. And as you can see, there's still one minute left on the timer. Uh, now, this is a common fault. Uh, I see this again and again on the internet. People asking the question, my machine is stuck on one minute, four minutes, nine minutes, 11 minutes, 14 minutes, and so on. The machine stops mid-cycle. One of two reasons. Either you have an intermittent fault with the circuit board, or you may have a problem with another component. So before changing the circuit board, you really want to make sure you test all the other components. Now, when I say test all the other components, you will need to do a continuity check on the heating element, the NTC sensor, making sure that they're the correct values. You can use Ohm's law calculator when testing the element, and there are other videos in the description below to assist you. The water valves, there may be one, two, three, or four water valves fitted to your washing machine. Each of these water valves needs to be tested. 
you also want to make sure that the pump pumps the machine out. And as you can see, the machine has just sprung into life, but it's still stuck on one minute. This is an intermittent fault, and it's very hard to ascertain what the problem is. But the last check that I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put this machine into diagnostic mode. And this will give me a good indication whether it's a problem with the program or a problem with one of the other components on the machine. OK, I've actually been editing the uh, video for you while I've left this machine on. And as you can see, I've been about an hour and the machine's still stuck on one minute with a door lock. So let's turn it off. There is links in the description below to actual diagnostic mode and test mode as well. It does vary from machine to machine, but on this model of machine, I need to press the second, uh, sorry, the third and the fourth button to enter test mode before I press the on off button. And I'll just do that, let the machine power up and it goes into diagnostic mode. But then I get a sarcastic smiley face and the machine is not allowing me to do anything. I'm pretty confident that the main motherboard is the fault with this machine and I'm going to replace it. Okay, I've managed to obtain a new or oh, second-hand board on eBay and I'll show you the procedure at the end of the video for actually finding the right board for your machine. The first thing you need to always do is use your complete model number because all washing machine programs have a uh, all the programs built into the circuit board for a specific model number. So this is very important. Now, on a lot of machines, you've seen me repair circuit boards but the problem being with the Samson in one way I like it in another way I don't uh, they actually encapsulate the whole circuit board in a silicon gel so I'm unable to replace any components on the circuit board without a lot of hard work getting all this gel off and for my time I managed to obtain this board for 40 odd pound um, and I know it came out of a machine which had collapsed bearings so I know that the program is good so we'll go ahead and replace this. I'm going to lift the machine down onto the floor to show you how to actually replace the board. OK, taking the lid off first, and while I'm doing that, actually changing the program is the easiest part of the whole of this process. Um, the problem that you have is understanding what the fault is, and that is the hard part. OK, to remove the facial panel and the PCB, there are four screws at the top on the facial board. One going into the soap box. Then you have these two larger screws on the outside. Now remove the soap drawer, just press a button down and there are two screws on the inside. Keep these separate because these are made out of either aluminium or stainless steel. This is to stop these screws ever corroding. Okay, now the panel will come away slightly but I'm also going to remove these two screws here just to make it a little bit easier with the wiring for me so I can remove this retention bar at this point it's always worthwhile photographing the wiring so you know where everything goes but I'm just going to pull these connection plugs off some of these are quite difficult to take out and that one's stuck I'll get a tool for that in a second I've got a little hook here which I'm able to put under the tab on this one because it is quite sticky And 
that will allow me to remove this out the way. Okay, on the circuit board you have one, two, three, four screws that you need to remove. Okay, there is a catch on this side, a catch on this side, two little catches halfway up the circuit board and I can't see any on that side. So I'm just going to press that in and lift up the circuit board, then go round to these catches and release them. And finally, I'll come on the other side and release this catch. And sometimes they do get sticky and difficult to release, but just take your time. And there is one on the other side. Once you've got them released, you're able to lift the circuit board out and you'll find another wire which connects to the control panel on the front, which you can see here. So we'll put the circuit board over to one side and we'll get the new circuit board. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm just taking the knob off the control panel because I'll relocate that after. And I'll insert the new wire. Make sure that that goes into its location lug there. And we'll drop the new circuit board down. Make sure it's all lining up with the lugs. Once it's all lined up, just click it into place. Now we'll replace the screws. And I'm going to put the knob back on, line it up with the half D shape that you can see. Just rotate it into place, then it locks in. Now we can replace the wiring, one for one, make sure you go back to your photographs if you're in any doubt whatsoever. I'm going to relocate the bar, put the two screws in on the front. You will see that there's a catch there for the wiring to be located, which I will do in a second. Reinsert the control panel. Make sure the soap box is lining up correctly. And then I can locate the wiring back on. Put all the screws back in, reinsert the two stainless steel screws or aluminium, whichever they are. Don't over tighten them. Drop the soap box back in and the machine is ready to go up on the test bay to do a test cycle. Now I put the machine on the test bay, put it through a test spin cycle, completed the program, no problems at all, gave you the merry tune at the end. And I've also put this on a wash cycle now and it's gone all the way from 103 minutes down to 44 without causing any errors whatsoever. So we'll just wait quickly, I'll advance the video forward to the end and we'll have a look at how to get you the correct part for your washing machine. Now isn't that a sound you love to hear? 20 minutes watching this video, 
10 minutes research on eBay, which I'll show you in a second, and you're able to fix a machine that would have cost you in excess of 200 to 250 pound. Let's have a look at how to find your part for your machine. Finding your PCB for your Samsung washing machine is not a difficult process. Firstly, you need to identify the model number. This can normally be located on the back of the machine on an identification label, or sometimes you have a label just inside the door. Then to double check that you have the correct circuit board for your machine. Have a look at the circuit board to see if you can see any identification numbers. Now using these two numbers, we will now have a look at eBay. There are many channels which actually sell secondhand parts. eBay is just one of many. You have Gumtree, you also have Facebook Marketplace, and depending on where you are in the world, there are many channels for doing this. Now, the machine that we were work sorry, the machine that we were working on was a Samson WW80J5555 FX-EU. And if we put in the word PCB after we could do a search for this. And as you can see, no parts are showing. There's only one result and someone is actually selling another washing machine with a faulty PCB. So that would actually be no good for you. But if you found a washing machine for 30 pounds with the bearings gone, then it might be worth you contacting the person to say, look, I'll pay you your 30 pounds for your machine. Uh, could you take the circuit board out for me and just send me the circuit board? That's one option. The second option is a little bit more complicated because you need to identify if this program. Now, when we looked at the washing machine PCB, there was a couple of numbers written on there. And this number is the actual PCB number. Now, you need to clarify with the manufacturer or with the person you're buying the machine off that this PCB will fit your model of machine because my model was slightly different. Uh, this gentleman has got it just for a J555, but it doesn't include the FX-EU. So sometimes you want to clarify this first. It's very important. Uh, as you can see here, I'll just bring up the original model number for you. Although these people are selling secondhand circuit boards, uh, they're not putting the full model number. They are missing the FX-EU. Uh, they're saying it fits the 80J5555 FW, but you need to clarify that it fits the FX-EU. Normally they do, but I can't be 100% guaranteeing on this. Uh, so I do not want to say something that would get you the wrong printed circuit board. So it's always worth doing a search on all the shopping channels to see if you can find a new circuit board. As I said, this circuit board varies in price between about 170, 180 pounds, and I've seen it as high as 240 pounds. And it's just not an economical to buy when they're brand new. But there's another little button here, which is quite useful. Save this search. If you click on save this search, it will automatically email me when someone else sells a part like this. Now, this is very useful if you have a little bit of storage and you're able to put the machine to one side until a part becomes available for this machine. At How To Repair, we encourage you to repair your machines, not only to save you money, but to save the machine going down to the skip for no reason whatsoever. It is down to our responsibility for us to be environmental friendly. The governments and companies do not seem to be doing this. So we have to try to actually improve the environment that we live in. I hope you enjoyed this video. We do sell parts for Samsung washing machines. And if you do need a new drum or new circuit board, we can get them for you. But on some occasions, it is just not economic for you to repair the machine when the cost of the part goes above 200 pounds. Thank you very much indeed for watching this video. Please remember to support the channel by clicking the like button and subscribe. And also, if we really helped you fix your Samsung washing machine, you can always click on the Buy Paula Beer page. Thanks very much indeed for watching.